Greg Tepper of Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here in Grapevine at the DFW Coaches Clinic here with the head coach of the state semifinalist Forney Jackrabbits. It's Coach Jeff Fleener. Uh, do you get just do you, do you act, request people introduce you exclusively as head coach of the state semifinalist Forney Jackrabbits now these days? No, not at all, man. You know, you know how it is. You have a great season and it's a lot of fun and it's. Uh, but at this point now, it's like, uh, are, are you going to do it again? You know, especially going moving to 6A, so it, it, it'll be a fun. Uh, you know, now that some time has passed, you know, the, the eight, nine weeks since since the, the season ended, I'm curious if you can kind of identify what it was about last year's team that really made them special, that suddenly, you know, you guys are able to run off. And obviously, some outstanding talent we can talk about, but but can you identify after the fact what it was that made that team really special? Well, I mean, it, it always comes down to the football players, and, and obviously we had some great football players, but, uh, you know, we we had that little extra push where when you, when you put great players in a situation where they know how to win, they're experienced. We're the most experienced team I've ever been around. We had eight to nine, uh, three- or four-year starters. You know, that helps a ton. But uh, having a town like we have in Forney that had been great before, especially when they were small, and remember what that was like, that were just – thirsting to do it again and to to put a team out there and then know that week in and week out even when we got to the playoffs we're going to have you know six seven eight ten thousand fans show up to the game uh you, you you can't beat that you know i think it's really interesting as somebody who's followed your career pretty closely that you're a, a, such a good coach when you've got kyler murray at quarterback or jv and osborne at running back have you noticed that uh, it's funny you know as <laughs> i'm really good at making sure they get on the bus um, you know, and, and, but I will say this, and I, I, I always got to make sure that I, I, I give credit where credit is due. All of those teams uh, in the Kyler Murray years and then again this year, amazing defenses. Um, and, and something that we pride ourselves on and uh, put a lot of effort into. And, uh, you know, they, they don't always get all the credit. Uh, and, you know, when you've got some elite offensive guys, but man, amazing defense this year that that helped us. But uh, but yeah, it's always good when you got a uh, a running back like that. Because it, it strikes me, I'm glad you brought that up. Because for all the all the, the playmakers you've gotten, it's fun to watch your offenses go. But at the critical moments, your defense stood on its head and came up for those for those big plays. And there's a real argument that you, if you just parachuted in and watch this team, you'd be like. Oh yeah, that's a that's a defense first team. A couple of nice offensive pieces, but that defense is what's really kind of put you know straw that stirs the drink. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, people people forget a little bit about the defense. And you have Aaron Flowers out there who's already at Oregon and uh, killed it at the uh, Army All American uh, uh, practices and games. And then uh, you know an elite D line and, and things like that. A bunch of guys that we're going to have that are going to get to uh, have a chance to go play at the next level. And then we've got more coming back. And, uh, you know, that that's the whole thing is it, as great as the offensive players that we can put on the field and do some things, uh, defense defense still wins games. Defense still wins championships. And uh, even as an offensive guy, I've, I've, I've had to bring myself to admit that. Uh, so now next year we'll pose a, a new challenge. Here in about a week we're going to find out uh, your, your realignment fate. You guys are moving up uh, to Class 6A. Absolutely. Um Where's it? Where's your your head at? How are we feeling these days? You know, six days out from finding out the where, where you guys are going to land. Well, you know, the best part about it is, is you know, I, I try to explain to people, my three years at Fournier are the only three years I haven't been six A. So I, I have had a lot of experience with that. Um, the other thing is, I try to remind everybody is we played Longview, Lancaster twice, Port Arthur Memorial, Frisco, Lone Star, and Alito, all of which were in the top eight preseason state rankings of a very elite magazine, Dave Campbell's Texas Football. And, uh, you know, it, other than maybe the Duncanville and DeSotos of the world, who in 6A is going to show up and just surprise us compared to those teams? Well, especially Longview, Lancaster, they're moving up with you. You know, they're moving up to 6A as well. So uh, I do think, and I'm curious from your perspective, at the top of 5A and the really good, you know, at the top of 6A, there are a couple differences, but it's probably, I don't want to say overstated, but like certainly it's a lot closer than people think. Elite ball is elite ball. Uh, and people have asked all the time, I said the number one difference maybe between 5A, D1, and 6A is depth, 100%, and O-line, D-line. And uh, other than that, 
uh, there's not as big of a difference. It, between all other classifications, I think there is a significant difference. But we, between 6A and 5A D1, not so much. And I remember, you know, even those battles when I was the, the offense coordinator in Allen, we played Longview four years in a row as a non-district team because we couldn't find anybody else that would play us. And, yes, they were 5A, but battles. Yeah, they'd, make that, they'd match up with you up front, too. Oh, absolutely. And uh, I, I, I still, to this day, when, uh, when I saw uh, King and Longview were up in 6A, first call immediately to him. You sorry SOB. You told me you were not coming up. You told me we were done. And uh, he said, well, I thought we were too. And I said, well, yeah, how could you not get those 10 kids kicked out of school? Uh, you know, a few years ago, somebody uh, said that they, they didn't want to interview you because you were one in nine uh, there at, at, at Mesquite. Uh, is this a, is this better? What, what you're doing these days? Oh, it's absolutely better, man. <laughs> and uh, you know, just what a fun, fun deal to uh, to have the relationship we have with you guys, with you, with Step, uh, with uh, with Ashley, Mallory. You know, everybody that's come together. You know, as much as we want to give each other some some crap every now and then. Am I allowed to say crap yeah, on here? Uh, you know, as much as we want to give it to each other, what y'all do for Texas high school football, unmatched, unmatched, and we appreciate it. Coach, appreciate you, my friend. Thank you.